Welcome back to Technique Quad. Today we're talking about building leg strength with hex bar squats. Okay, if you don't know what a hex bar squat is, it looks like this. If you have a hex bar or a trap bar, either one is fine. You can do it from a platform where you get more range of motion, like I'm mostly gonna talk about today. Uh, but you don't have to, of course, we'll get to that. They look like this. I'm in a you know, super low, you know, rock bottom squat position, and I just stand up with the weight you know, just like I'm squatting, but not specifically like I'm deadlifting. Okay? I've thought a lot about this over many years. Like, you know, what really determines a squat versus a deadlift? Is it always a deadlift if the weight's hanging in your hands? Is it always a squat if the bar's on your back? Not necessarily. I, I think really what determines what you call something comes down to the movement pattern that you're using. So I have the, the hex bar in my hands. Um, you, could, you could do a hex bar deadlift, of course, but if you change the movement pattern to make it a little more knee dominant, hips lower, a little more you know, knee extension quad focused, it becomes a squat, and so I call these hex bar squats. Okay? Uh, there's, there's many reasons to do hex bar squats. Uh, I think they're, they're particularly uh, beneficial for weightlifters. You know, oftentimes, in fact, if you back up real quick, real quick excuse me, uh, you know, if you look at weightlifters from the side, you know, we're, they're doing pulls for snatches and cleans, and you know they'll be kind of like right here. Okay? If I'm deadlifting, my hips are going to be much higher than that. You know, especially if I'm doing more conventional deadlift where I don't have a snatch grip. You know, I'm going to be pulling from here. If I'm doing cleans, I'm going to be pulling from a little bit lower. That that more upright torso position is is the best place to be if you're trying to get to you know get through a solid first pull, good transition into a the most powerful second pull that you can do requires you to be very upright in that power position. It's hard to get into that position, especially when the weight gets heavy, if you're doing it with a more hip hinge deadlift fashion. So uh, the hex bar squat, the hex bar squat is one more way that you can train that more squat focused movement pattern. Ooh. If you look at me from the side, you can help you train that more squat focused movement pattern with hips low instead of, instead of hips high without simply doing more and more front squats and back squats, which of course front squats and back squats are fantastic, but after you do those for you know, 10 or 20 years, you might want a little bit of variation and hex bar squats are a great place to, to get that variety, uh, especially because <laughs> If you have some type of, of platform or you could just use bumper plates or whatever you want, you, know, you, can, you can get that extra range of motion where really I'm at the very bottom of a squat here. You know, my thigh is parallel to the ground. You know, I have, I have you know, basically maxed out my ankle dorsiflexion here. My hips are super low. And from here, I can just drive through my heels and stand straight up, which makes it a very you know, quad focused leg focused exercise. It's not too hard on my hips, my glutes, and my low back. Uh, it's a great way to, to build leg strength without having to do the, the same old movements all the time. Uh, of course, you can do a bunch more heavy snatch and clean pulls. So that's, that's also a lot of fun. If you don't have a hex bar, then you can do something similar using, using boxes and heavy kettlebells or dumbbells where I can set up here Pull that forward a little bit. Where I can set up here, I can go down into a, basically a full squat with my legs, with my sorry, with my arms all the way out straight, and I can start in that bottom position here. I'm at the bottom of a squat, but the weight is in my hands. I can just do full squats like this. You know, similar to to if I was doing you know a goblet squat, the pattern is the same, except the weight, except the weight is now just in my hands. So I like that. As far as points of performance go, it's just like all the rest of the squatting variations you've ever done your whole life. You're gonna press through your heels, you're gonna keep your knees out over your toes, you're gonna have a nice tall neutral spine, um, you know, good extension with your back, neutral neck looking more or less straight ahead. It's all basically the same, just the only difference really is that the weight happens to be hanging from your arms like it would be on a deadlift, but you're doing a squatting focused movement pattern. As far as programming, you can just treat this like back squats and front squats. You know, you could do four sets of 12 if you're doing like more of a hypertrophy phase. Uh, you could do five sets of five. You could do heavy singles, heavy doubles, heavy triples. It's, it's a totally goal dependent question. 
Uh, so as far as programming, you know, it really comes down to what you're training for, why you're training for it, et cetera. So um, no, no magic to the programming, just you know, consult with whoever writes your programming, or if you know a lot about programming, then you probably already know what to do. Uh, as far as squat depth, I hadn't mentioned this yet. You know, squat depth, same deal. Like if you, if you don't have the mobility to do a full depth, ass to grass, so to speak, squat without compensating in, in some capacity, then you shouldn't do that that low. You should stop where your range of motion limits you. So with these, if I, you know, if I have uh, a platform that I'm standing on and it's maximizing my range of motion, but I, I get to here, my ankles don't bend anymore, and now I have, to, I have to have my knee cave or I have to get on my toes somehow or my hips stay high and now I have to round over, then of course that's too much range of motion. So, you know, start high, even if you have to elevate the bar you know, putting the, putting the plates on, um, putting the plates on plates themselves to elevate the bar on your shins where you're actually decreasing the normal range of motion compared to the barbell just sitting on the ground. You know, start high, you know, like you're doing rack pulls and then work your way down and try to find the maximum range of motion you can do without compensating and having your form break down due to lack of mobility or whatever. Okay. Um, so that's it for hex bar squats. Give them a try. Uh, let me know what you think about them. If you want me to do other similar movements that you know about, of course, always reach out. You know, help at barbellshrug.com. You can make suggestions there or reach out to us on Instagram. Uh, we are Shrug, Shrugged Collective on Instagram. I personally am Douglas E. Larson on Instagram. Uh, also, if you go to shrugcollective.com, you know, we, that website has everything that we do. It has all the shows that we've done you know, for years and years and years. So everything's on that site. Uh, also, we have the Shrug Collective program vault. If you go to shrugcollective.com backslash vault, you can check out that membership site. It has all of our training programs in it for one, one single membership price. You get access to all 11 of them, so it's an awesome deal. Uh, you get access to Muscle Challenge, Shrug Training Challenge, Flight Weightlifting, and then eight other really awesome add-on programs like Aerobic Monster and Anaerobic Assault, two of the more popular ones. So check that out. We'll see you another day. Welcome to the Shrugged Collective Program Vault. Over the last six years, we've been leading the charge in online strength and conditioning programming and coaching. And for the first time in the history of the Shrug Collective, we're combining our 11 best-selling long-term and short-term accessory programs into one membership site called the Program Vault. From Olympic weightlifting to strongman, leaning out, nutrition, you name it, our 11 best-selling programs are yours for $47 a month. Get to shruggedcollective.com backslash vault and you will find immediate access to our 11 best-selling strength conditioning programs.